What's up guys and welcome back. We're here with a new campaign for 1212 AD. So we finished the Saxon campaign for Attila. So I decided, well, we'll have a bit of a change. And we're going to play 1212. We haven't played it in a little while. And we are playing today as the Abbasid Caliphate. And our aim is going to be to reform the Abbasid Empire. So if you don't know what the Abbasid Empire is, um, I don't know if it, we don't actually have any military victory. So we are going to do that. But the Abbasid Empire, anyway... Um, basically is the uh, original Muslim Empire um, like that basically held most of the world or most of the Eastern world anyway most of the known world um, if you're a Roman I guess because they held everything from like North Africa um, like all the way over here in like Tunis and stuff and all the way to uh, well deep into the darkest parts of Persia so all the way back here as well so we'll probably take all this I'm probably gonna go as far as Egypt because um, I think a bit like the Ottomans, they didn't really hold the Abbasids didn't really hold control of this part of the world themselves. They held it with like vassals, and and then it got conquered by it. Because then the Umayyads eventually split and um, took most of it for themselves, I think, or like it, it just split anyway. So the Abbasids, I'm probably if you played CK2, I'm going to go to what the CK2 borders are. So probably to e, uh, probably to here, um, to the edge of Egypt and the Sinai, and probably go all the way up to probably here um, and just take basically we're gonna take all the Fatimids out most of the other Muslim factions and a few probably uh, Muslim uh, not Muslim uh, Christian armies as well a few maybe Georgia and stuff like that if they uh, tangle with us here but anyway so it looks like Baghdad uh, is not the happiest place in the world um, not quite sure why we have of course got a this which is just helping with Research. I don't really need that. Uh, that could be pretty useful though. A footwear house and then make it a footwear headquarters. Um, what is the public order here? Why is Baghdad... Oh, he's actually sorting himself out. I think we are sunny. We're not Shia. I could be wrong. Um, summary. Yeah, we are sunny. I did believe we were. Yeah, we are the same as the most of this part of the world. I'm probably going to... The first people I'm probably going to go to war with are these guys up here. Um, the Zengid people, mainly because they they've got like no land, <laughs> and they've got like cities just right for the taking. And then another one I'm probably gonna go for is the Salgurids here. So we're gonna start with some recruitment, I guess. That's what you always should start with. Uh, so we've got a pretty good army here, nearly nearly a full twenty stack. I'm thinking maybe some. Oh my gosh, we can get crossbow cavalry. Okay. Um, the shot cavalry is very expensive, but does look very cool. Um, maybe footwear jund would be what I'd like to go for. What have we got here? We've got just basic archers. They're, they're very expensive. I forget how expensive everything is in 1212 as well. So expensive. We, I imagine, yet yeah, no mercenaries. Still not added them in. A, bit, a great shame. Um, I think I'm going to get... Hmm. Two footwear jund and one spear. And we'll call it that. We have a thing that's promoting Shia Islam. No, get rid of that. And it's co actually costing us food instead of stuff. Um, public order. Let's sort out the public order. Let's make that better. Give that, make that plus four. Uh, technology tree. Yeah, still not sorted. But I think they are sorting that for the next update. They are trying to do uh, that. So we'll put... I guess we'll put construction cost in, bring that down. Don't really want to be spending thousands on that. Um, our income's not too bad actually, it's going to be 2200 for next turn, so that's actually not awful. Uh, Basra, what can you build? You can't really build masses yourself. Um, I could put a squalor in, or I could put something for food. Food's actually looking okay at the moment. I think I'm going to put a spice market in. Can I build everything, anything over here? Okay, we've got some really good units. We've got Ghulam foot guards over here. And Ghulam lances. Can I build these somewhere? Surely not. Let's see. Can I build these guys? I doubt it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Light melee units. And we've got foot war early. And we've got just some pretty awful bows. I could put them in. Um, I can put a whole one unit in. Um, actually, I'd rather not. I don't know. Why can I have... Why do I have foot war... Uh, Ghulam foot guard, that's what I want to know. But anyway, we're going to end the turn and um, actually I don't know if I want to go. Are these, oh, these guys are different. So they're Hasprit. The Has. 
whatever they are. Let's actually, yeah, let's, let's look at um, this. Gurud Sultanate. They're pretty strong. I might ally up with the Gurids. My master extends the most magnificent welcome to you. Um, it's pretty high. What wisdom do you so yeah, I'm going to ally with these guys and I'm going to just slowly... Okay. That's too much. You don't have that much money, apparently, Gurids. Um, 600. Thank you. Um, I'm going to ally up with these guys as well. The Krasmarian. I want to take out these two factions here. And then I want to move up here, and then I might go after the Ayyubids. Not like, did I call them the Fatimids earlier? I think I did, didn't I? They're not the Fatimids now. They're the Ayyubids. We've, we've, we've had the, those, the heyday. Okay, these guys actually hate me. Maybe we'll have an early war with them. I think we will. Um, I could actually go down and take out Arabia as well. Um, we're actually trading with these guys. Um, and the Sharifate of Mecca. Hmm. I'll get non-aggressions with these them, but we're trading with them. They actually do like us quite a lot, but I'm not really too interested. Most of the people around me I actually want to expand into, so I'm not going to make too many alliances. Um, I will probably leave them for now. Which is annoying because most of them are Muslim. Um, so we do need to be careful there. I'm going to end the turn. Oh no, we can get some provincial governors. So we should always do that apparently. Um, you're my heir. Are you just a statesman? You are. And then after that, we have another statesman. Um, you, sir, can be the... Oh, what was the place? Um, it's Kufa. Kufa is the place that's not happy. So we're going to put you in here, Kufa. And also seek yourself a wife. Um, oh, we can still get some more governors after this. Anyway, well, we'll do this one first. Uh, I'm going to say... Oh, empower the local ruler could do that tax rate would we're not making an okay amount of money so i'm gonna put in yeah i'll put in that for now and we can always change it about apparently we can have some more governors so i'm gonna put in a strategist and a warrior what awful choices i guess we'll put in uh, i don't really want to spend money on it but i guess baghdad can have one as well expensive uh, and then Baghdad can just have... Baghdad's already f a huge city. Jeez. Um, I guess we could do commerce. We actually could do that. I mean... Hmm. Army recruitment, maybe. I'm going to do settled tribes. I know we've already got the growth, but I kind of would like the commerce. Kind of interesting. I mean, I'm... I am tempted to knock this down and just make it into something that's going to help with public order. I'm not actually sure what we have on offer that can help us with public order. Or just about anything I imagine down this chain will probably help us better with public order. I mean, this one slightly does, but we can definitely do better. Oh, this one. Exactly this one. Plus four, then plus seven. Then plus ten on a grand pleasure house. Well, and then there's this one as well, the palace here. That all also just improves it. Yeah, so we've got two that are actually already better and that I would definitely rather put in. So we might change them out later. I'm I'm done. I don't want more provincial governors. I don't want to spend more money on them. I'll do the I'll, I might put another one in next time, but right now I don't like the options that I have the candidates I have for a governor. So we'll, we'll wait a turn. But if you guys want to see more of this let's play then please don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and a comment because uh well that's what keeps these uh let's plays going is to support your guys support and oman is offering a non-aggression i will take your non-aggression i yeah take her hand whoever she was um right so the krasmarians are at war with the golden horde or what they basically are yeah we made yeah and we did all this yeah not a lot happened then your garrison's actually... Oh, your garrison is not awful. They cost nothing. Oh, of course they cost nothing. It's a garrison. Pope, you're an absolute fool. Um, so I think it'll be another turn and then we will start our assaults. Um, Erbil, what is your garrison? It's actually pretty good. And your armies. But I think I'll probably go after these guys first. Take them take them out. I can take them out with both my armies. Um, so I'm going to put in some... There's nothing here that actually is actually even worth having. An annoying. I'm gonna actually straight away change this out. What can I? 
I'm gonna find some money somewhere. I'm gonna change that straight out. Um, who do I want to do some deals with? Maybe the Gurids. The pleasures of my household are yours to enjoy. First, though, the hmm. necessary burdens of the. Yes. In yeah, that's an issue. Uh, well, Krasmarines also hate us. They have a lot of land. They have all this up here. I, but I think they're very unstable, so they're definitely going to break up. They're all the way down here as well. Wow. Oh, the cell grid. Uh, these guys are actually pretty big. They're about three states. They're going to be interesting to take out. And they're a vassal of the Krasmarines. I didn't even realize that. And so are these guys. Well, they're already at war with people, so we may already go straight to war with them, and I could not care. Please be seated. Um, the Zengids, they're just there, so we might take them out at some point. For now, I'm going to see if I can make any alliance with the Ubids. We can always break them. A most humble audience for your terms, my poor self. Now. There we go. I'll take the defensive alliance for now, but I'm definitely going to be breaking that at some point, mate. So don't get too happy with it. Um, so that was plus two, um, plus one, and public order. Plus four, there we go. Squalor. Uh, our squirrel is already pretty awful. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty awful here. So that'll take two turns. That'll sort that itself out. Baghdad will then actually be able to support itself on its own. And I don't need to just babysit it. Um, our wealth actually might go up there. Which is excellent. It's even better. Um, and then, yeah, one more turn and then we can sort that all out. Yeah, I'll put a governor in this time. Is there any good ones? Marksman, warrior. No, it's not. Bloody useless. Don't want anything to do with them. So yes, I'm going to take out Ahvaz. And just, I don't know, we'll go from there. We'll see what happens. And then we, there's all these other ones down here. I think that's the way to go first. Go east and then we'll go west. Because the Ubids are blooming strong. And this is on hard difficulty. So uh, it's going to be pretty hard. Not too hard, but you know, I think this is like the hardest you can really get before the AI, AI starts to cheat, and uh, we're not all about that cheating AI. Anyway, right, so you obviously can't get mercenaries, what was I thinking? There you go, you're going to go minus six, wow. So that go with plus four? I actually might want to put in a, uh, that one, tax rate. I'm actually going to do that, just to make Baghdad happy. Um... And then I'm going to just attack. Oh, it only brings in the Quasmarians. Yeah, so I'm still happy with these guys. Okay, that works with me. Um, right, we're going to put Siege Towers up. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to take it for me, mate. That's not going to be within range. I'm just going to... Yeah, I don't even know why I'm bringing this smaller army, but... There we go. Uh, predicted strength. I'm just going to wait until they come out and attack, I think. Can I build anything else? Um, we'll build a ram as well, I guess. Build a ram as well. Uh, Basra, what can you build? Nothing that I'm too impressed by. I'm pretty sure there's one that helps with public order. Or well, there always is, seems to be one that helps with public order. Clearly not with a... Uh, mu the Muslim-like factions, they don't have a place that helps with public order. But we can see here that like, uh, well, public order is just awful. It's just frustrating. They need to sort this out. It needs to balance public order, I think. I mean, it probably is very easy to sort out, but I'm just, it's early on in the game. We're just going to have a lot of problems. Um, but yes, we're going to take out this region and then we're going to, well, just make it into a nice happy place, I guess. <laughs> and um, I could build a third army. Put it in Baghdad, possibly. Uh, oh no, we're over our limit already. Wow. Wow, I did not even realise. Um, I bet we can't build a fleet, can we? No. So anyway, we'll end the turn. Well, Governor, there's still going to be no good ones, are there? Strategist, Marksman, Warrior. Yeah, none of you are that great. I guess Strategist can go in and Basra, there you go. Have a flipping Strategist and then just help with... Um, what do I really want? I guess growth. 
plus five, maybe. Yeah, we'll put growth in for now. I mean, happiness isn't the end of the world for this place. I could just put a small army in there and that'll sort that out quite nicely. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying stay, staying safe, I was trying to say, um, in this lockdown period. Um, and just, yeah, keep just keep safe. I mean, I hope you keep yourselves entertained. It's a, I'm starting to run out of interesting things to do. I've had to turn to uh, to reading. I do enjoy reading, but not when it, uh, not all the time. I mean, just reading fictional stuff's fine. I mean, reading history stuff's fine, but fictional stuff is... Uh, Bit hit and miss, but we've we've gone to that dark place now. Okay, looks like the Ubids at war with the Trebizond. I don't know if they actually have a border. Let them cower before our might. How many turns did you actually start? Uh, three turns till you start star starving. I don't really know if I could actually take that um, with a frontal assault. I'm just gonna carry on, uh, carry on doing my thing. Yeah, well then, we'll put more siege towers on, why not? Um, <laughs> what can go wrong? What can go wrong? Basra. You love it down here. Well, that's brilliant. Uh, and this, it's not really masses to do. I kind of want to assault this place here, but... I could have actually struck up and taken Urbil, I guess. I could have probably taken that in a turn or two. Um, but, I mean, it would have been pretty difficult. I'm just kind of hoping that these guys are going to sally out. So I'm gonna end the turn again. I'm just gonna I'm gonna spam through some of these turns because, um, well, I just kind of want to get it, the campaign up and running. We're gonna have to keep a big army in this region when we uh, are finished because I think the Krasmarine Empire is literally just over that mountain range. Call for arms. Oh, what Jerusalem attacked? Um. Okay. I guess I'll enter on your side, but I'm going to be definitely breaking that alliance. So the Ubids are now at war as well with Jerusalem, which is no surprise there, to be honest. I mean, that was definitely going to happen. I, I don't know why Jerusalem decides, yeah, it's a brilliant idea to join this uh, fourth crusade malarkey. It's not even fourth, it's fifth crusade. Faction encountered. There you go. I've encountered the Jerusalem, which absolutely hate us, of course. Um, no surprise there. I mean, everyone over here is, just hates me. These guys, I imagine, yeah, deteriorating. We are trading still. Could not care. Could not care about your master. Um, it's really annoying. I just can't buy flipping mercenaries. We really do with some mercenaries. I could just go into Basra and start. I don't think these four, five units are really going to make a difference if I win or lose this battle. Yeah, probably not. I think if I just go back into here, start recruiting more stuff. Let's do the old sneaky recruit more units in this region and then go back in tactic, which I've just made up off the top of my head. Um, so these guys are definitely actually probably better than these footwear than these Jund. I kind of want them. They've got the same name, but they have different stats and are slightly better. I'm going to get more footwear Jund anyway. More footwear Jund for the army. And then we'll uh, do something about this. Yeah, yeah, the balance of power has now gone back to even, but that's fine. I mean, they're going to have two more turns until they start starving. I don't care. Be quiet, sir. And then, uh, I guess Kufa here? Do I really want to build anything? No, that's not actually... Oh, and Baghdad's now positive. Excellent. Um, apparently, Baghdad's a wonder of the world, so we get growth here. And it has high walls. Um, apart from that, I could not care. Oh my gosh, the squalor is awful. Population density is really high. <laughs> Jeez. Um, yeah, I'm going to just build this other army here. And then I'm going to probably just go up and, well, just rejoin the siege here. And we'll just knock them out in a couple of turns time. So I'm going to... Oh, we've got some unassigned skills. Excellent. Okay, so I want authority. So I get public order. And then I want... What else have we got? I kind of want to go down here so I can get more public order. Then you can do the same. Very simple. We'll go down taxes later. Excellent. There we go. All be sorted. No time. Let's 
see if anyone does anything stupid, like Jerusalem attacking the Ayyubid Sultanate. Like, that's a pretty stupid thing to do. I'm not going to lie. They've got about 12 men, and they're going up against an entire empire. It's stupid. I, I don't know what they were thinking. Okay, Judy calls. Uh, yep, you. Uh, the Pope's called a war a crusade anyway. And we've got to have this cutscene. Even though we're not holy. Oh, well, we are holy, but we're just... We're not Catholic. Just leave us alone. We don't want to talk to you about the goddamn crusade. Uh, yeah, Cairo, it's a lovely place. Uh, we'll definitely go this time of year. Um, there's an entire army there waiting for you. Idiots, don't. Why would you call a crusade? The crusade's already... I just realised now, I've had a brainwave. So Jerusalem declared war on the Ubids before the crusade had started. What were they doing? Like... I don't get it. How did they come that... Yeah, well, I know it's a great place, Baghdad. Uh, we're miles away from the crusade. I'm not going to be taking part. Yep, yeah, thank you. Uh, that cutscene, I think, is a little bit too long. It seems to just take forever to get through. I can't skip it, which is more annoying. Authority. Uh, morale for my units. Could always be... Uh, for attacking, yeah, we'll have that. And then we'll yeah put that one in. But yes, apparently someone... Di who died? Oh, so someone died? So we've got... No. So let me guess. My, my current guy died. Oh, the Geared Solonets at war. Okay, natural... Oh my gosh. Yeah, this guy died. Hamid. So now we have Muhammad. <laughs> Hamid and Muhammad. Um, oh, and we've got some other guy, Baharam Shah. Very nice. Um, yeah, of course now I get an actually useful um, governor. That's pretty useless. Uh, I don't really want to give any of you uh, people any land that I don't really... Well, not land, but... Any officers that I don't really want to hand out. So there we go. We'll uh, quickly do another thing. I'm going to just enable the so, uh, building of all of them. That could be useful. I'm going to go with this one. I kind of want to just bring construction costs down a little bit more. Oh, what's that one? No, that doesn't do anything for us. That's the only one that actually gives us more wealth. Oh, no, these ones will give us wealth as well. Let's go down there then. Let's actually do that. Uh, get more wealth in from agriculture. Because we're a farming nation, apparently, now. Um, how many more turns till you... Oh my gosh, the wall strength's not great. Um, no, it's... One more turn, then they're going to start starving. Well, I'm going to do that. Um, because... Well, I don't really want to assault their walls. Just basically, that's the simple... The simple thing. I just don't want to attack their walls. Um, yep, Sunny Islam's still going up. I don't really want to interfere with the growth. Um, castle. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh, we could get Nafatoons. Do I not have... Are these all cities? I need these Nafatoons then. Yeah, we're going to save a 9,000 to get Nafatoons for this army. This man needs Nafatoons in his army. Can I also get Ghulam Footguard doing that, I wonder? Yeah, this is where I get the Ghulam Footguard. Oh, we're saving up 9,000 so we can get Ghulam Footguard, like... So many of these men are needed. And Nafatoons. This is going to be an amazing army. I'm going to rename it. Just for that. Just for that. Uh, can I? No, apparently. Why can't Oh, yeah. Oh, it's different to Rome 2, isn't it? You do it down here. I don't like it. Um, let's name it. Um, I don't know. Let's name it. Uh, hmm. Allah's Chosen. Warriors. That's a cool name. Uh, it'll do. It suffices. It's just better than the one that's given to it. And then what's this one? Hunters of Heresy. That's kind of a cool name. Because, I mean, Christendom is a her heretical uh, religion in our eyes. Uh, Kufa, I'm still trying to sort out your public order, so I don't really want to interfere there. And you're also growing quite nicely, which I could do with uh, using. So I'm going to be probably saving a lot of money currently. I think I'm going to have to make some alliances with, like, Oman. Please be yeah, I'll take your defensive lines. I'll basically just make you a uh, a puppet down here. Yeah, we'll take your military access as well. I don't really need it, but I could actually strike there from Basra. That's actually not a bad idea with this army. 
But anyway, we'll end the turn. I just want flipping. Oh, I should have got some money out of Oman to basically fund. Oh my gosh, why is this broken like this? Um, uh, the Ayubis are dragging me into about a million wars here. Here we go again. Uh, yeah, I'll join your war, holy against the Holy Roman Empire. And Hungary. Nice. At least I'm finding lots of parts of the world, I guess. I, I think that's the usual people that join the Fifth Crusade. Um, like, mainly, well, they're the only people that really in Christendom have the power to. Everyone else is too small or infighting or fighting other Muslims, like in, like the Spanish. And to be honest, I think, like, if you bring the Holy Roman Empire into a war, you basically, uh... Well, you're bringing half his uh, fa uh, his uh, vassals in as well. Okay, so there's been a rebellion, I think. Oh my gosh, we can see like yeah, there's been. I think these guys have had a rebellion. Or well, there's definitely pretenders. I think, but they're huge. We're taking all this land. I'm sorry, but that is our land for the taking. Um, we now have the footwars. I'm gonna see if I can get some flipping money out of people now because I'm sorry. This is. This is needed. Um, Please military access. And take wine to cool the head before we... There we go. 600 I've got out of you. I just need about 600 more out of someone. The pleasures of my household are yours. And then we're good to go. We can start building this castle. The necessary burdens of diplomacy. No, jog on. We ask for a single modest subsidy to help our people in a dark time. What I ask is you, sir, a are a tough bargainer. Yeah, I thought not. Shut up, Mecca. I don't care about what you've got to say. Yeah, look at all these people I can now see. Let's see. Can I make peace with them? Speak your no. <laughs> oh, I got dragged into so many wars for no reason now. Um, You, can I make any non-aggression? Yes, you might actually do that. See, now everyone's... You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> this is... They're getting very, very, uh, like, angry. Look at them. They're just not happy with us attacking our, their uh, vassal friend. Well, your vassal friend's about to die. We're going to just put him this guy back in since I've got to wait another whole turn. Oh, my gosh. It's going to take... If that's the case, um, oh, I just want the money to spend it on... Fancy stuff. Can I get a better alliance with the EU but then, to then break later on? Military access. I'd like... Yeah, there we go. Why didn't I just go to the EU bids? They're clearly the people that have cash in hand and just ready. Six turns it's going to take. Jeez. Um, well, that's not the end of the world, I guess. Well, well, I've just taken this in six turns. That's the thing. So we'll end the turn. Uh, I know we've not had a battle yet, and it's just me really spamming through turns, but like I said, I just kind of want to get it up and running. And, uh, well, taking this settlement looks like it's going to be harder than I thought. Apparently, my army uh, of ragtag units is just not good enough. Who would have thought that? And before anyone asks if I'll be attacking this siege uh, in the comments, will I be doing this siege? No, there is no chance. In hell that I will be uh, attacking the summon. Okay, so it looks like. Who the heck are they? Uh, Mercuria. Okay, so it's another faction from the from Africa this time. It looks like um, the Crusaders are actually doing okay. They look like they're making quite a good offensive, but I mean they're definitely. I mean it just takes one army to go and besiege Jerusalem, and they're in trouble. Right, um, war weariness increased. Oh, a Mongol invasion, excellent. Um, well, war weariness will increase, because... What's it at? 2%. I don't think it's uh, the end of the world. Right, I'm going to just assault this. Oh my gosh, they like went down to 60. They went down to half strength in no time. Right, so there we go. Dead. Taken. I'm going to just occupy. Oh my gosh, they had a lot of money. But uh, we're not going to be doing anything about that. Um, we're just going to repair. What's this? Uh, let's not... Oh, no. Actually, can I convert this? No, I don't have the money. 
I'll repair you for now then. Oh, actually, I'd rather repair this. And then... Hmm. And then I'm going to send you back to Basra. Where you can recruit lots of Nafatoons for me. I need all the Nafatoons. Authority? Um, Jamil. Who the heck are you? You're not part of my family, so I'm going to have to adopt you. Where are you, Jamil? Here you are. I'm adopting you into the family. It's been too long. You need to join us. Join us. Um, I wonder if we can get a go another governor, actually, I just thought. Yes, we can. Jafar. No, we don't have enough money. Of the one time I actually want to actually appoint a governor. No, not on. Um, but yes, now we'll probably be going after... Well, I'll probably actually will carry on east. Um, I don't see the reason to go north. Just make a border with um, the Crusaders. So it's quite good having the Zengids here at the moment. They're a nice little buffer. But yeah, they actually have... They have some alright armies. I mean, I should know I have played a Jerusalem campaign. If you haven't seen that campaign, I definitely recommend going and checking it out. It's a very good campaign. Look at the size of the Ubids. Um... But yeah, I think that's where we're going to wrap up this first episode. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a bit slow to get into. Why are you in a fleet? Get out. There. Um, I know it was a bit slow to get into. Um, but we have taken a settlement. Uh, hopefully we can get a battle in the next episode against the uh, Krasmarine Empire. And uh, yeah, I like I said, just keep the support up with a like, subscribe and a comment. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.